Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the Grim Dawn Rot mod again. For those of you guys who are unaware, I'll have a link down in the comments. It's basically a recreation of Diablo 2 on uh, Grim Dawn and has a Grim Dawn twist such as multi-classing um, and a bunch of extra ubers and just a lot of content in general. Um, if you played things like Diablo 2 Meeting XL, I think this mod will really stand out for you because that's kind of like really what I consider it to be is like the Median XL of Grim Dawn, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We have a Druid Summoner that we're playing, uh, specifically D2 classes. So Druid Summoner um, and I am also playing Necromancer. You can play this as a lot of different things. Like, for example, if you wanted to stick with one Grim Dawn class and one um, D2 class, you could play it as a druid and shaman druid shaman would work well i decided to go with necromancer just because necromancer has curses and i really wanted to try something out with curses but to get started let's talk a little bit about the build and then i'm going to go ahead and get started ravens are our main source of damage i originally wanted to do something with spirit wolves and grizzly but raven seems to be the best in terms of ai because they're flying they don't seem to get cert like when they essentially all dogpile on a boss they don't have this collision issue that a lot of other summons do so for that reason ravens are sick we are also primarily focused on bleeding but there are some immunities in this game uh, inherently like ghosts and wraiths do not bleed because they have no blood and some skeletons do not bleed because they have no blood so this is where classic necro comes in where we have amplified damage which will go upwards of 100 percent reduced physical resist which should allow me to kill the immunities uh, while still staying a bleed build for the most part so let me go ahead and show you guys the squad so step one uh, i'm not going to go over all my gear but we are using a little bit of leveling gear from my main character so as an example one of the biggest things we could have gotten for this build specifically uh, for leveling would be a Heart of the Oak. The reason why Heart of the Oak is sick is because it gives a bunch of res plus three all skills. Grants us Oak Sage, but Oak Sage doesn't stack with our Druid Oak Sage. Uh, it just takes the higher percentage health value. But this gives me Summon Raven that stacks with my regular Raven. And we have a Vex Rune on there down at the bottom, one of the high runes that adds 2000 flat bleeding to all of my pets, which stacks with all the pets, which is crazy. So, to show you guys the squad, we've got 10 ravens, actually I think 11 now, so you can see here we can have 11 ravens, which comes from our skill, um, right over here, then Oak Sage gives us another 6, but it's a separate skill, so we can have another 6 ravens here, then we can summon 1 pack wolf, uh, the wolf will use an aura that increases bleed uh, from the dire wolf, you can see it right here, the bloody howl. Then I like to pull out the Poison Creeper, as the Poison Creeper destroys physical resist, poison resistance, and bleeding resist in a massive area. The only thing that sucks about the Creeper is it does not gain the benefit of Direwolf Presence. I think it's bugged, I'm not really sure, because he has no health regen, so you do have to resummon him every so often. Then we throw out the Golem that we have. At the moment we have an Iron Golem, since Iron Golem is piercing and piercing and physical and I can convert piercing the physical later I may consider using a blood not blood golem blood golem only heals itself in this mod I may consider using well, actually a blood golem wouldn't be bad it'll just keep itself alive but a fire golem will have an AoE that won't do a lot of damage because I'm not fire spec but it should draw aggro on everything because it's like the first to hit everything so that'll be like further end game gear um, then I've got the oak sage that we're gonna pop out then I've got one of my buffs going on, which is from our Guile, nothing really too important. And then switching back, we also have our Summoner, or uh, sorry, our Mercenary, Haseen, which is this guy who gives us True Aim, Blessed Aim, sorry, Blessed Aim, which is very important for our Ravens. And then, last but not least, we've got Chad Bear. Uh, Chad Bear is only one point in him, but he has this screen-wide taunt that is really, really, really beneficial. All right, with that being said, that is currently our army. Uh, we could have more. We could go into much more uh, spirit wolves and, as an example, way more summons on the skellies. I haven't even touched the skellies because at the moment there's just so much shit on the screen. I think this is good as it is. We're scaling to get uh, Golem's Flame is one of the bigger ones. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of clear. Um, and then to go with the devotion really fast... 
We currently have Shepherd's Crook on our curse, um, which gives my guys a massive damage buff. We are going for Howl of Mog Drogon, but I don't know how I'm going to proc this yet. The Ravens run Rend for the minus bleed res. And then we are eventually going to unlock Blind Fury, which will give another flat reduction, or give a source of flat reduction that I do not have, and another source of bleed. And then we are going to be going over towards... Not really sure, I don't remember. Anyway, let's get started and show you guys some content. I don't really have much AoE yet, um, but the birds, the birds are basically AoE because they just kind of fly in on something, and you can like see the bleed. Like you can just look at their health bar as it just decreases from the bleed. It's very, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very nice. Satisfying. There's one downside with this build. Uh, the one downside is I don't get an exclusive ability. So what I'm probably going to do is put one point in... Uh, in Druid, I'm probably going to put one point in Werebear. Because Werebear is going to give me defense, armor, and health. Um, and that... In Grimdawn, that's basically just a permanent aura for myself. It's not like I actually turn into a bear. Uh, but that permanent aura will scale with all the plus to level we get. So it should end up giving me quite a bit of health, hopefully. And then that health scales with Oak Sage, so that should be nice. Swampy Pit. No, I think that's an Uber area. You can see here these Glooms don't bleed because they're not dead yet. Yeah, I think I might switch this guy to a Blood Golem, because if you look, he does take a lot of damage as Iron Golem. I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if Iron Golem has, like, extra threat generation or something. sure we're going directly north here. Another reason why I didn't spec into like mass summons right now, oh here we go, here's some density, uh, is because when I come across these like really tanky elites that aren't necessarily super tanky but let's just call them super tanky, what happens is, is they have like because there's so many resistances to govern in Grimdon, if my summons aren't like at least decently above the res slash like have a decent amount of resistance, the rares will pretty much just destroy them, which gets really scary. The nice thing is the birds, I don't think the birds take any damage, but if my bear goes down, my bear is a big taunter. Um, and if I lose my taunter, then the mobs pretty much run at me and that's not good because I'm not tanky at all. We can work to be tanky. I've just felt I've been more on like the make sure my summons are tanky. How do I get this one? And this is pretty nice because Necromancer we get here. Seven resist passive, which is what I was putting points into, which basically gives them pretty much 1% all res per point invested, with the exception of physical resist, which I think is still fine. Oh, 2% per. Whoo! Never mind. Sometimes one, sometimes two. That's pretty sick. Also, hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's. 
Um, and I hope everyone is excited for the new upcoming Path of Exile leak. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, I'm really curious if they're going to be adding more content or if they're going to be working on like polishing the current already features since we have like harvest and heist going core without quality of life that could be <laughs> i don't know that could be uh potentially not very positive oh here we go layer jungle this is Okay, Callum's brain. Got it. I also hope that you guys enjoyed the YouTube highlights Skate Good put out for the flashback race. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, towards the end <clears throat> of the most recent highlight video you guys saw, I switched off of Death's Oath. Mainly because I just really wanted to build around an ivory tower, which is incompatible with Death's Oath since it requires a chess piece. We ended up playing a mono variant of Bladefall uh, Blade Burst, which is really, really, really strong, but I feel that Bladefall Blade Burst is a little too meta for my taste. Um, so I kind of stopped playing it and got a little bored. I guess you could say part of me gets a little bored of Path of Exile when you try to do something really cool and then it just kind of is all shit compared to like one or two other skills. It doesn't happen all the time, but in some instances it does. We've got Ubers coming up in our next difficulty that should really put our build to the test to see how it does against the Ubers. Um, some big things I can try to figure out is like, we definitely have to make our bear tanky enough, our bear and golem to be able to face tank Ubers, and then getting enough accuracy for the crow or the ravens to stack bleed, I think is pretty much our, uh, our best strategy. And then we don't have any raven associated legendaries yet. That's another thing that I'm really excited to get. There's a lot of really cool Raven-associated ones. Primarily because my Ravens last three minutes right now, so I do have to, like, recast them every so often since there's 11 of them. And then I have six of the other ones from Heart of the Oak. Probably will not be using Heart of the Oak endgame because the granted skills that it gives, so aka the granted Ravens, do not scale with plus to level since it's, like, a granted skill opposed to, like, my actual skill, if that makes sense. I always think this is like a giant spider here when I walk by. Oh boy. I guess another thing I didn't even take into consideration, but as a Necromancer Druid, we get the option of, is it Cyclone Armor and Bone Armor that I can use? I think it is. I know Necro gets Bone Armor. I think I get Cyclone Armor as Druid. That should be like a one point wonder when we have so many plus to skill levels. You need to go, sir. again I love the density in this mod it's so great somewhere here Ooh. like I, I tell myself 
If all these mobs hit me one time, surely my character would be dead. <laughs> surely my character would not survive this. So I really have to thank the Chad Bear for the massive taunt for just constantly taunting screens at a time. Should be right over here. I think. Nice thing is I can follow where these guys are coming from to figure out. Oh, okay, so it's down there. Got it. It's down here. And then No? Ah, in here. Okay. I oh my. Oh, here it is. Oh, uh... Minions, go get him. Go get him. Okay, I'm gonna sit right up here. It's a little laggy. Maybe minions. Get that guy. Just look at look at how satisfying the bleed looks. Warlord's trust. Not good for me. Powered Tempest of the Void, not needed for me. Okay, well, that pretty much summarizes that. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. But also know that if you have any questions on installation, I'll be posting a Discord link uh, for this game specifically in the comments. So you can find everything there. Happy New Year's again. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves a lot. And hope you guys are not too hungover. See you guys tomorrow, and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, everybody.